Chainsaw Man continues to come out with bangers. Um, I'm actually going to check this out for the first time. I heard part of it, but M.A., I think I'm saying it right. M.A., yes. Yeah. Came out with a new song. We had TK. I can't wait to check that out today. I'm doing a full band reaction today, so that should be, that should be fun. We're checking out both these songs. I cannot wait because nice. I've loved most of the Chainsaw Man um, endings. They've been great. But... M.A. explores darkness and loss in Deep Down music video. And this is an ending for Chainsaw Man, uh, premiered on December 13th with a mini album by the same name released December 14th. So I definitely have to check that, that out. She's a really good vocalist. A shout out to Davis who introduced me to them. Um, she's she's amazing at, at, at singing, obviously, but her backing band is also just absolutely fantastic and probably doesn't get the credit that they deserve. They are <laughs> like... They're, they, they're like master artists at their instruments and they don't play heavy music or anything like that, yep. but they like take like, you know, a genre that is generally that I wouldn't think of as like, you know, um, needing to be overly complicated in the actual uh, production of the music itself. And they add all of these little elements to make you like, if you're a musician to like keep you focusing on what they're doing in the background. Also yeah. beyond her just being like this, this beautiful singer with a beautiful voice, the band itself is actually fantastic. Yeah. And if you don't mm. know the story with her, she had to recover from vocal issues that she had the vocal surgery, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. So she had to like sing softly and there was, the whole thing procedure she had to go through and now she's like famous <laughs> super famous mm -hmm. in japan you know um, her stuff so, is and her music. stuff is just cool they, they, she has cool songs she makes cool <laughs> music the music video gives us a glimpse into the intriguing world of people who seem to be immersed oh, in a virtual reality where they are with their loved ones though in reality those loved ones are no longer with them so very dark video i'm very excited Ooh. to see how they put it together so the music video is suited beautifully uh is wow it's suited to the beautifully haunting song which includes dark themes of pain sorrow and loss trying it together with certain plot points within the tv anime chainsaw man uh the song was written for the ending credits themes of the anime's ninth episode and it does go with that episode if i'm not mistaken a certain character Anyways, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna give any spoilers. I, it goes with the show. Shit Watch happens. The show. Shit happens. The, mm. I, you know, Chainsaw Man is so good, man. I don't know. Just I got right back in the anime at like the perfect time, I guess. And I was just so happy I did with Chainsaw Man because, um, like I've said before, the music. Uh, we tried watching it before, and I got into Japanese music because of mm -hmm. anime, and now I'm getting back into anime because of the music. So it's like full circle, and it's just a really cool journey to go down. It um, sounds like a Black Mirror episode. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to check that out. <laughs> sounds really interesting. And also, like, I don't think I would ever discover like Kenshi, um, who is like amazing. Um, he was an amazing vocaloid producer. Now he does his own stuff now. And, or, not Kenshi. Um, oh, that's a different guy. Sorry, I mix them up. But anyways, the endings are great. I'm not. I'm gonna mess it up. But there was a couple vocaloid producers that went to singer that are on this, on all these endings that I never thought I would like, and I'm loving a lot of it. I've been getting big into the vocaloid music, so it's it's really cool. If you are enjoying these clips from our full podcast, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on all those notifications so you don't miss out when we go live on Sunday, which is always the same time at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And if you can't catch it there, we're also on Spotify and future streaming platforms in the future because that's where the future takes place. I don't know. Just hit subscribe, guys.